guys. We'll see how this goes here for a bit. Hopefully this lighting is okay. Hopefully the sound is okay. It's probably a little, a little uh, echoey. This is not the painting that we're gonna be working on today. I will be working on today, but you know. Um, I will be working on it today later after we hang out for a bit. We are going to try to replicate this picture here. Uh, it's somewhat of a commission, I guess. We're gonna be it on here. Finally have some time to do it. So let's do it. Can you guys see that? I might have to move you a little bit closer. Something like that. Woo! So this is gonna be a landscape. I don't like doing landscapes, but oh, there's no paint left in here. Oh my, I'm gonna grab a garbage can. Just going to set up a little bed for Hank, just in case he wants to stay in here. Okay. Keep the door right there if you want. Hank is in here. I just set up a little drop cloth for him. Worst feeling, no paint. Yeah, so I don't know what to... Usually I just put some white paint on the background just to kind of give it some... Uh, like a base of sorts. You could also use like a medium or a gesso or a mixture or something. I don't know. I don't actually know how to paint, but I usually just go with white. But I don't have very much white left here, except for the shitty white that, whatever, the one that comes in the big pail. Remember when I was painting that one picture a long time ago? Oh, kind of sucks. Okay, so I think we will use, how about a yellow? We'll use a light yellow. I just want something light that's easy to cover up. Okay. Looks like I got some brown in there by accident. Now this painting here is actually for the winner of the Just Joshing with Dakota contest, the logo contest. And how are all you guys doing? Good, I hope. Are there still hurricanes and stuff going on? I hope not. Okay. Okay, we got ourselves a yellow canvas. Okay, so now our, our picture that we're we're gonna this is something that she showed me. She likes these buildings. I forget what they are. Something in Mexico, I think. I think. Or maybe in South America somewhere. I can't remember exactly, but we're gonna do something like that. She said my rendition of that. And at first I said I probably wouldn't be able to until I saw it. And then I was like, oh okay. I thought there was some sort of crazy architecture, and I'm like, ah, it has a finger painter. I can't really do that. But that's pretty crude shape, so it should be pretty easy. I, I think. Let's, let's hope. I'm going to move you guys a little bit closer. Actually, I might move you over to this side here. That way, you won't be in the way of me, and hopefully I won't be in the way of you. Well, that's kind of a harsh shadow. I'm going to move you up a little bit. Right. See if this works. Hey, April. I'm using acrylic. Yes, acrylic. And thank you, by the way. Thank you very much. I never know what I'm going to paint when I start. No? I almost always know what I'm going to paint when I start. Um, unless it's not a person. If it's like a... Like this... Thing, I, I don't, I usually, like, hmm, that's not even, 
that's not even right. I was going to say, when it's stuff like this, I don't know what I'm going to paint. But I obviously know what I'm going to paint. It's going to be something like this. Oh, thanks, Lindsay. Uh, no, freestyle. You like to freestyle? Are you an abstract painter? I personally don't like abstract, so I don't, I don't paint it myself. Although I do appreciate an abstract painting every once in a while. And I, I, just don't, I just don't really understand it, which is why I don't like it. Sometimes it looks really nice, but um, when it comes to what I paint, I just try to paint like usually a person, like like the Willie Nelson that I'm working on, right right there. Um, that'll be in the next vlog, which I'm hoping to finish filming tomorrow. Okay, okay. I always suck at the horizon is making a straight line, so we're gonna cheat a little bit. And we're going to use some tape. We're going to put this horizon about just a little bit above the middle. Ah, oh, you mother... This is probably not going to stick to it because it's wet, so I might have to wait for it to dry. Is that about... Yeah, it's not gonna stick. Obviously, it's not gonna stick. Okay. That's pretty close. You know what would be a better measurement? Is if I used a ruler. I'll be right back. Okay, five and a quarter, five and an eight. That's close enough. That's close enough. Don't forget to like the video. Oh, thanks, Sharon. I like landscapes, flowers. That's what you paint. Then I can pull with this kind of stuff. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, that's a good. Uh, whatever. Okay, we're gonna focus on this area here a little bit. Now, this is in the desert, so there's like browns and stuff. Now, I'm not good at landscapes, but we're going to... Oh, here's some brown that's still wet from yesterday. So, we'll just put a little line across. Oh, you son of a gun. This is probably going to fail. I used this tape yesterday to uh, put the guitar strings on Willie's guitar. I just wanted them to be straight. Usually when I paint guitars, I just kind of don't even put the guitar strings. So I'm like, ah, they're too small to see. But really, that's just laziness in a, in a sense. And I'm like, well, I'm a finger painter, so it doesn't matter if you can't really see. Just can't really see it. Okay. That's pretty, pretty straight. Now, I don't know if I'll use the tape again and go over it, but I may. Okay, so this here is supposed to be sand, but it's a little, it's a little too dark. So, I'll add some more yellow to that. I don't really do landscapes, so I don't really know what looks good and what kind of doesn't look good. I kind of just go with what I think. I think we're going to paint this. In this picture, there isn't a sunset, but we're going to, we're going to put a sunset. Uh, you sell yourself short. Your landscapes you did in Arizona were great. I think it's not... I don't know. I'm not very good at painting in general uh, when it comes to, like, how to paint. I think I make good pictures, which I've explained before. But I think if I knew how to paint, it would be easier to make a picture come to life instead of just kind of fuddling around. There we go. I'm, this this uh, tripod is a little loose, so you might fall again. And if I don't notice, 
Sorry, I know this is kind of annoying. That is very blurry. I plan on getting a new phone soon. But not that soon. I'm gonna just try to wipe off the lens there. Just so we have a... Is that a little clearer? I don't know. Also, I'm gonna get another... Nah, I think we're good actually. Stop shaking me. Stop shacking me? Huh. <laughs> oh. And look, there's some pink on this. Still wet from yesterday. Let's throw that up there somewhere. Might be able to use that here and there. Yesterday. I must have left the Yeah, I left the, the lid off. That's why. It is spilt all out. Okay. pictures of any sunsets so we're just gonna kind of wing it every sunset's somewhat different anyway so if it's not perfect I can always change it but as long as we got a nice looking picture more or less uh, I'm just gonna wait for this yellow to completely dry because otherwise if I put blue on it it'll just turn green second grade sunset slash beach slash underwater kids and perspective what what does that mean? Oh, you're painting. Huh. Okay. Well, let me grab... Let me grab some blue. Now, I have a lot of... Or some of my paint in the house. I don't know. If you can't tell, we're in the, we're in the garage. Okay, we got some blue here. Okay, this here is probably still too dark, so we'll lighten it up again. If I look at this bad, this is like a bad uh, printout because it's just, you know, regular printer paper. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oftentimes I use like well almost every time I use a whole bunch of different pictures and kind of put them together but in this case I just have the one because I don't have my phone because I'm talking to you guys okay we got some brown and we got some yellow here we'll take a little brown mix it with the yellow and we'll get kind of a tanny color sort of and we'll Put that in here. Does anyone here know how to paint where they would uh, be like, what the heck are you doing? You should do this instead? <laughs> or no? I mean, I know I can figure it out, but I've always wanted, to, I don't know if I've always wanted to, but I've always thought about perhaps taking some painting lessons. But I just never have. Okay. Yeah, stick this on there. This is on there like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna add some uh, some of this 
I know you can't really see that. Some of that, those little bush things. I don't know what they are. Tumbleweeds? Tumbleweeds, I guess, start off as an actual living thing. You know what's hilarious? Where I live, we don't have desert. I mean, we have desert in, like, a few hours away. But, like, we don't have any desert, like, in my immediate vicinity. But every once in a while, you'll see tumbleweeds. And it's hilarious when you see them, like, in the city. Okay. I'll add a little bit more in here. Whoops, I accidentally grabbed some blue. That's okay. This is working with a lot of color. So I'll probably put... Oh, I accidentally grabbed some more blue. That must be from yesterday. It's kind of cold in here, so the paint stays wet longer. It's not cold, it's more so like cool. Okay. Now I wonder, just looking here on the horizon, it's, it's a little more darker right at the top. So I wonder if I should just keep that darker there or not. I don't know. Further on down, I'll, I'll lighten it up. Okay, let that dry for a bit, and we'll come back to it. I had a rag here. I don't know where it is. Let's read some of your comments here. Just go on, hi. Hello, Barbara. You should. Better than bland. I don't remember what I said. I couldn't paint a flower to save my life, though I did try many times. <laughs> Hello, Chris. Formal technique would be cool to learn. I agree. This always makes me want to paint along like Bob Ross. <laughs> Bob Ross has like a good way of like continuing to talk to the camera, even if he's not really saying anything. And he goes way too fast for anyone to truly paint along if they don't like, cause he knows what, he might be painting random, but he knows in his mind kind of what he wants to paint, whereas you don't. So when you're following along with what he's doing, it's, it's kind of, uh, you're, you're always going to be behind because he's like, okay, he's calculating in his head. It's like, okay, maybe I'll, I'll put a little palo blue in there. Oh yes. And just dab it in there. And then I'm doing crisscrosses. Right? And then he'll be like, in his head, he'll all, he'll be saying all that stuff out loud, but in his mind, then he's just like, yeah, a little forest green. Right? He's thinking about that while he's still talking about the blue. Well, whereas you're like, what the hell's Palo blue? Oh, that looks nothing like it. Wait. You know, it's just, you're always behind. Probably even if you are a, a proficient oil painter, you'd still be behind. I mean, I don't exactly know because... I don't paint with oils, and uh, I don't like painting with oils. Remember that guy who sent me some kerns? Delicious. So thank you. Okay. I've always wanted to get some Paint them white and make a tumbleweed snowman for the holidays. Oh, that's cool. That's a good idea. Thanks, Lindsay. More Oilers hoodie, please. Bug on the wall. Yeah, that was a fly. I'd like a new Bob Ross that painted objects. 
not just landscapes. I think he had landscapes because they're so relaxing. I think he knew how to paint anything if he wanted to, but I'm not, I'm not certain. Also, I heard that he actually painted every picture three times. So, I guess in that vein, he knew exactly what he was going to paint from start to finish. Uh, there we go. Hello, Brian. Okay, I think I'm caught up on the comments. I'm going to try to leave it here. Or it did that thing where it just stopped showing comments. Oh, got it. Christine. So I heard that too. Yay, fun facts. Fun facts. Okay, let's feel that. Still a little wet. I actually like this. Can you see the variance in color? It kind of gives it like a texture of like, like overlapping kind of dooniness. Dooniness. Uh, yes, you did. It was on documentary on him. Ah, I never watched the documentary of him. I don't on him. I don't think. Okay. Okay. Now, there's this building in here. It's like very angular. And then it has like some crumbliness. It's like it was carved out of a giant rock. I don't know if it was built up or just reduced to that structure. Because there is some other like more... Uh, ununiform rock around it. So, what I'm going to do first is paint this sunset in here and then paint the building over it and then hopefully I don't screw up where I have to try to fix it around it because once I paint the sky, like when I've done those Arizona landscapes, I hated that I had to go back and try to blend the, re-blend the sky when I screwed up on like the, the mountains and stuff. Hey, Lewis, how's it going? Sent more keys today and a book for... Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that, um, Brian. You're just a born Bob Ross genius. <laughs> I don't think so. If you're referring to me being that instead of just in general, then... I don't know. I heard he was also like a drill sergeant. Is that correct? Or was he just in the military? Okay. I don't have a rag, so I'm on the bottom. You know what I might do? I might actually, hold on. Let's dry it up with this. I'll put the tape back on and then I'll do the blue. That's not even close. It's a little chilly in here, so drying on its own will take a while. I don't know if this is correct, by the way, to do this. Probably a hair dryer would be better instead of a heat gun. Because this might not be good for the paint to dry this rapidly. But it might be fine. Okay, some more of this masking tape.
Hey, do you guys watch Modern Family? That show is freaking hilarious. Okay, that's stuck on there nicely. I'm grab some blue here. This is not Halo blue. I'm gonna need a little bit of white. Just to lighten it up, just a tad. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Okay. Now, if I were to use brushes, I would just put like strips of slightly different color or of all the colors and then I would blend them together. But when you finger paint, it doesn't really have the same finesse. So you kind of just do whatever you think is going to work and then hope that you're not wrong. So the blue here is turning green. So I'll have to do a couple, couple layers. It's turning green because just the yellow is shining through. Okay. So I got some blue on there. sunset color besides yellow pink yeah orange we can put a little orange in there but I don't know I'm gonna put some clouds in there as well some like wispy clouds hey is anyone friends with me on on Facebook could could you, could you <laughs> this is funny but could you remember we've been doing this could you send me a picture only if you're friends with me on my personal Facebook, because I won't be able to check the Facebook groups because the messenger will just pop up. But if you are, send me a picture of Mexico desert sunset, and it'll give me an idea of how to, how to do that. Violet, purple. Yeah, those would be good. Purple. What does that look like? Okay. I don't know what that looks like, but I'm going to... I'm gonna guess here, and then if someone sends me a picture, then uh, then we'll have something to kind of correct towards. If I can find some purple, ah, oh, here's some purple. I don't know where the purple would go, but let's just put some right here, for example. And then once I know what it's supposed to look like, we'll correct to the right color of purple. That looks kind of muddy, but we'll just keep layering it, shall we? Put some more blue in there. So the blue is looking green. Add a little white to it, just to lighten it up. The thing about this tape is I don't want it to get too bunched up there because I don't want there to be a super stark line if it doesn't have to be. Ah, oh, Lindsay, thank you. That is some Good help. Oh shit, that looks freaking fantastic. Okay, so this picture that Lindsay sent me. Okay, so the sunset is coming out like, I know I can't show you guys, but it's like. Okay, I'm gonna try to mimic that. There's red in there, yellow. Okay, this, what I just did, is not gonna work. Uh, our good friend Vera also sent me a whole bunch. Oh, she sent me three though, so I can't actually look at them. Okay, let's see if I can click on them. Am I still, can you still, let me see. 
Ah, there we go. You can still see me. Holy shit, that's a nice picture. How do I? How do I get? Ah, oh, there we go. Those are all great. Those are all great reference photos. So I'll be able to. How do I? Ah, ha, ah, ah, ha, ah, ah. ha. Okay. I'm going to start with this one that Lindsay showed me. Okay. That one has mountains in the back. Is, is that is that Mexico? I don't even know if this is Mexico, but I think it is. Okay. Dang, that looks good. Okay, what I gotta do, what I gotta do, get some yellow, some fresh yellow. That's totally gonna turn green. Hello, tiny ducks. Magenta. Oh, and someone else sent me a picture. I don't know who this is. Harriet. Oh, that's almost the same picture that someone else sent me. Perfect. Okay, I have enough pictures now, guys. So thank you. That's a great picture as well, though. It's got the purple right in this area. I'll probably use something for that as well. There's a lot of clouds in that sunset. Okay. All good. Silver? Silver in the sunset? I am really enjoying the softer tones. Very gentle. Huh. My dog is barking. LOL, purple ruins it. <laughs> Especially when a volcanic action going on, it puts more chemical atmospheric reactions. For what? For the Hawaiian sunsets? Okay, let's go here. Bam. Whoa, what happened? I don't know what just happened, but all these comments just came, but I think they're all old. Hello, Andrea. I was stationed at Pearl Harbor for almost four years, so definitely saw my fair share. Nice. Okay. Okay, I think that's probably good. Get some yellow. Okay, I'm gonna look at this picture here again. That is more, okay. Let me go like this. We got a green sunset going on here. If I was more patient, that would be fine. But I'm not. I'm just gonna layer up here. Just gonna layer until, until I get it. You know what I think is impressive? When people paint from life. I can almost never do that. I always have to take a picture so I can see it in 2D, which is weird. But if I'm sculpting, it's way easier to sculpt from 3D. Sunset. When it comes to these kind of paintings, they're like trial and error. If I'm painting a, pi a picture of a person, it's way easier for me. This one again. Got some green.
Wait, did you guys answer me? If if any of you uh, watch um, Modern Family, okay, that one is that. I still remember quite a few red suns as very spectacular as well as the saying goes: "Red skies at night, sailors at light. Red skies at morning, sailors take warning." Really? Hmm. When I see people do these paintings like live, oh, actually that looks way better in what you guys see versus what I see. It looks better in here, for sure. <laughs> but anyways, when I see people paint this stuff in, in, in life, like when I see them actually do it, and I'm like, I, I like watch them like layer, then it finally like comes to life. I freaking love that. I feel like that's what's going on here, even though I don't know what I'm doing. I've watched Modern Family in the past. But isn't it hilarious? Frick, it's so funny. The dad? What's his name? Whatever the dad's name is. He's so funny. Okay. Okay. I actually kind of like the shape of this. I, th I think I'm going to try to work with this. Somewhat. It's probably going to change, obviously, as I go, but I like I like this. I think that's cool. I'm going to put this building somewhere here. It's going to cover up a bunch of it, but that's okay. Especially since I think this, this blue is too blue. So I need I need to mix it up with this white here. Excuse me, let's try to Okay, that might be a little too much, but we'll go with it. Turns out I was wrong again. It's not too much. It's not enough. Don't turn green, you bastards. like a like a storm storms are cool to paint I've never painted one but when I've seen painting of storms I think it looks freaking awesome I'm bringing a little much noise also there's a hair here bothering the heck out of me somewhere This yellow wasn't here that I just put there a little while ago. 
That would be easy. What else is there? Oh wait, I don't want that to be yellow. So let's keep that out of there. Okay. Okay. Something, something like that, I think. Maybe? Perhaps? I don't know how to do sky. I don't know how to do hands. I hate doing hands. I don't know how to do sky. And I don't know how to do... I don't know how to do a lot of things, but for sure, hands and sky. But I think I can do the sky better than I can do hands. When I can do a good hand, I'm like, holy shit, look at that hand. And I'll be like, people will be like, hey, I like that picture. And I'll be like, yeah, those hands? You like those hands? And they're like, uh, I guess so. I'm like, you don't understand. They look good. Okay. Okay, I think I should wait for this to dry a little bit so that I don't mix the colors up too much in there. I think. I might have to do another pass on there, but for now, I think I like, I think I like this. Okay. Okay, we'll let that dry. We'll let that dry. I don't I don't know. My sister does live in North Carolina, California, and their air was horrible for the last 2 weeks. Jay. No, not Jay, the other dad, the the young dad, not the not the grandpa. The dad. You're out of focus. Love the left side, put the building on the right side. No, I'll put it on the left side. Um, in Bali, they are called Silver Sunsets or something similar. Oh, yeah? Phil! Phil, that's the guy. He is so funny. His character is hilarious. Man, I got this hair in here. It keeps tickling my neck. All right, Mr. T, good night. Put a big green John Deere combine right in the middle of the picture. To plow or to combine. What do you call it? To harvest? To harvest the sand? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, my family is mostly in Cali as well. I'll be right back. Very flowy workspace. I'm on a long board right now. This is actually one I made. And uh, every once in a while I ride it along in the shop. And then I'm like, I should really go ride this thing and eat shit again. This board here I actually never wiped out on, but this is one that I made. I didn't put any grip tape on it because I like the bare wood look. This is pretty cool. I did this wood burning on it when I was first learning how to do that. 
Not the best, but I kind of like it. Hold fast, don't perish. Kind of cool, I guess. I didn't make the trucks or wheels or anything, but those bearings, though? They're good. Look, it's still going. <laughs> But anyways, my first time longboarding, we went down this long hill that were like kind of curved. And I don't know how to skateboard. So I'm going, was I this way? No, I wasn't, I was this way. I don't know which way this is, goofy foot maybe? Anyways, I'm going down this hill, right? And it's pretty long, I would say, but it's not very steep. It's pretty steep as in like you pick up a lot of speed, but it wasn't so steep that it was not it wasn't scary right so I'm going down and I'm following other people who know how to ride right and I'm going down I'm going down I'm going down and then I see this truck with a trailer coming up the road and we're in a residential area and so there's cars on both sides so I went to move over because I was in the middle of the road as well I went to move over closer to the sidewalk so the the road is is curving that way right towards the back of me and I'm trying to move over to the right. So I've been steering left the whole way, just slightly. And then I see the, tr the truck coming up down the way a bit. And I'm like, okay, I'll just slightly move over. No big deal. But like, I don't, I don't know how to skateboard. So when I go to turn right, I went, I went to, here. I went to like, you know, and uh, when you do that, especially if you don't know how to maintain control and stuff, and you're going fast, you go into what's called a speed wobble or a death wobble, and you kind of just, like, you you rock back and forth. If you if you YouTube death wobble uh, skateboard, then, then you'll know exactly what it is. And people can pull out of it if they're good at skateboarding or somehow just get lucky. But me... I just immediate not not immediately. I actually held it for a bit, and I tried to not fall. I even tried to kick the board out so that I could do a power slide, but my wheels they're not uh, they're too grippy, right? So these ones here these are called bottles, and they're meant for sliding. The other ones that I had are are just meant for going uh, just like cruising, right? So they're just kind of rubber, whatever, and. Uh, Actually, I'll go get that board. I'll show you that board. There's this board right here. Okay? It's quite a bit longer. This one's like three and a half feet, I would say. Uh, it's made by Arbor. This is the board that I was riding. It's a pintail. So, you know, whatever. I'm riding. I'm riding it, I do the speed wobble, and my board kicks out from under me eventually because I just, I tried to ditch it and I was going to run beside it, but like I'm cruising. I don't know how fast I was going, but but pretty, pretty freaking fast. And then when I kicked out, I had my phone in my pocket in my, I was wearing shorts. And, and uh, when I fell, I like crushed my phone. And it broke into several, like the screen broke into several pieces and went, I was like, <laughs> and I ended up onto the, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a, a, sort of like a median thing. There's like grass, sidewalk, grass, and then people's yards. I was, I was on that thing. So I get up <laughs> and I look for that truck to pass by and he, freaking turned and he would have been turned before I even got there so I wiped out for no reason I got out of the way of nothing in the end but that was my first ride and my first uh my first wipeout all in the same day and then we used to go to parkades and stuff and race from the top to the bottom and that was very shallow so that was very easy so you wanted to pick up as much speed as you could but yeah hello Renda How's it going?
I kept my windows closed. Okay, when you paint hands or sky as long as you know what you painted, that's what counts. Well, the thing is, I want to sell the paintings, and if someone goes like, oh, what the heck are those things attached to that guy's wrist? Right? But they, it, doesn't, it matters more than what I think. I know that I painted hands, or what they're supposed to be hands, but I need them to know as well. Uh, Josh, I was just kidding. A combine is a big boxy tractor thing. I know what a combine is. I just, I just didn't know what, what its function was exactly. How to explain it. It's like a harvester of some sort, but I, I said plow at first, but I don't think they plow. I think they just harvest. I know what a combine is. Uh, cool beans board. Uh, had a kebab. The hardest part of painting is knowing when to stop. Not for me. I know when to stop. I usually stop when it's done. But sometimes... I don't know what more it needs. And I'll just know that it's not done. You know what I mean? Good. Did I miss you painting? Not yet. I'm, we're just waiting for this to dry a little bit so I can add a little more pizzazz to it. I always wanted to skate, but I'm not good at it. Oh, I'm not good at it either. I just do it. Uh, the other day, actually, on a regular skateboard... Like one, one of these kind of skateboards. I uh, I did an ollie for the first time. I actually did that at Alex's house. Hello, Billy. Um, Santino, hello. Um, okay. Probably dry by now. So let's give it a go. That's probably not safe. I probably shouldn't do that. Oh, one time while we were longboarding, probably don't care about longboarding stories, but I'm going to tell you one anyways. Let me get a reference photo up here. Um, we'll go to this one. Nope. Longboard. We're longboarding in this private parking structure. I'm going to make sure you guys can see that. And uh, the parking structure was like a like a day use only parking structure, so there's no one there in the evening, like after five o'clock. So we're uh, okay. I'm gonna put some yellow on here and kind of make it go into the blue a little bit. Well, I guess that's not quite dry, but it's pretty close. It's probably gonna turn green a little bit, so. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, 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 purple. Oh, shit. Hold on a second. I'm getting a... Oh, God damn it. One second, guys. Oh, yeah, I might disappear. What's, what's the date today? Oh. They turned off the gas in my neighborhood. I just got a text. Okay, I'm back. You got a barbecue and wood? Use that to cook. Uh, well, my stove is electric, so I don't need gas. Yeah, the U.S. is not so well liked anymore, that's for sure. I fell and sprained my ankle at age 14 on a skateboard. The only good thing that came out of that was I was able to skip gym class for a week. I hated gym class. I freaking loved gym class. One of the few things I was good at in school. Um, anyways, as I was ta t talking about my story here. Sorry I disappeared there for a second. I, I, my, uh, I wanted to text my wife to just let her know what was going on. Um, anyways, the story I was telling, the, uh, the gas, or the gas, what the heck, now I'm stuck on gas for some reason, excuse me, the, uh, what was I talking about, I, I was longboarding, 
I don't know, it's your lucky day. We're not going to talk about longboarding anymore. I don't remember what I was saying. Uh, oh, right. Okay, so one time, the so it was a private thing. And for some reason, someone called the police, even though we weren't doing anything. We were just literally just taking the elevator up, getting to the top floor, and then riding down. Not harming anything, not abusing anything, like literally doing nothing except for having fun. And someone called the police on us, even though there was only like four cars left in the parkade. Okay? So we're in the parkade doing that, and then suddenly we see uh, this police car show up, and these two really fat police officers get out. And I was like, wow, we can easily run from these guys. They're not going to be able to catch us. <laughs> they, uh, they like wait for us because they can see us like coming down, right? Because it's like, it's open, open air and they can, they, they can see us going in a circle basically. And, uh, when, <laughs> when we get to the floor that they're on, we, there, you could go like two ways, you know, like there was like a middle that was the, the ramp. Right, so you'd come down the ramp, go around, and then go back down the ramp, go around either side, right? You can go left or right. And they were on the right. So we went left and the one <laughs> the one cop he saw that that's what we were going to do, or just figured that we were gonna do that. So he started running to go around to get to the other side. And th like he had like I don't know how much time, a lot of time, probably like a good 45 seconds or so to get there. But he, yeah, he didn't stand a chance. We just kept rolling and then we went out of the parkade, which was one lower level or whatever, because it was lower than the ground kind of that went into the alley. So we went down there and there was like this chain across. So we like booked it to there ran around the corner and then we like we just squealed away got into my truck i don't know why we did that because like i don't think they were going to do anything they might have given us a ticket which i guess i don't know i just wouldn't have given them my id and i would have been like well who am i and it just would have been a waste of time to arrest us for escape but good times back in the day That picture of mountains in the background, but I don't know if I'm going to put mountains in there. Okay, I'm getting, hold on a second guys. This is so annoying. Old Coldplay is the best. Yeah, their newer stuff is not so good, except for, uh, except for that one song. 
Matt is here. Hello, Matthew. We call parking structures parking ramps in Appleton WI. What is, is that Wisconsin? That's because skateboarding is a crime. Well, it's not a crime, but trespassing is. Longboard story, Josh. Oh, you were saying, I thought you were making a pun as in long story, Josh. Longboard story. Photo Deviant, Heather, how's it going? Okay, I just watched one of your videos the other day. Oh, <laughs> uh, what a close up. Okay, guys, I don't know if I've told, yeah, I have told you. Okay, Heather, the Photo Deviant girl, has a, <laughs> she has a YouTube channel, okay? Uh, and it is, I don't even know how to explain it, okay? It's like a review, as far as I can tell, it's a review channel where they review these, uh, they review these drinks, okay? And uh, the one I watched the other day was like some sort of soda, and they didn't like it. But the beginning of it, dude, it's like so dry that it's so funny, to me anyways. I think, I don't know if part of it is funny because I had no idea that she did that she did these videos but she's like they're sitting in they have lab coats and they're in space they, they're in a spaceship I think the International Pace Station <laughs> and then like the dude I forget what his name is but he's like coffee and then she's like holds up a cup she's like yes and he says it again coffee yes coffee yes Dude, the intros are so drawn out that you're like, God damn it, get to the point. But that's what like makes it great. Oh man, it's funny. You guys should watch it. I forget what it's called. Silver fish. Some. Uh, hey, Lindsay, could you, uh, or Matthew, could you put a link to your channel if you know what it is? What the fuck? I forget what it is. But anyway, it's, it's funny. To me, it's fun. Yes. Coffee? Yes. Okay. Has anyone here watched your videos? Okay, I'm gonna go like this. Something like, I don't know, something like that. We'll be right back. I think he went after a skunk. That's why I wanted to call him back real quick. Because that would suck. Hey. Good boy. Just chill there for a second. Yeah, just chill there. Cool down. Just relax. There we go. Can you guys see him? I can't actually see you because I got this in the way. Yeah, you can see him. <laughs> There we go. It was probably a skunk or hey. Come back. Come back. The other dogs are barking, so he just wants to go see him. 
Good boy. Hey, don't leave. Don't leave. Just chill right there. Hey, where are you going? Just sit right there. He's like, I don't want to sit here. I just need you to relax for a second. Hey, come here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I should get that, hey? Hey. Good. Wait. Um, Phil is here. Thanks in advance, Adam Bennis, for checking out my channel. Oh, you're right. We were talking about... Okay, guys, yeah, you should check... Hey, don't. You should check it out. It's funny. Just subscribe. They're, they're funny because they're like... I, I don't know... What was that? I had a Turkish coffee before. After this live, of course, you're going to check them out. Okay. There, there's... You might not like them, but check them out anyways. <laughs> oh, man. There is cursing in there, though. But it's... it's oh, man. I wish I could describe it. It's like... It's like... Have you seen Borat? It's that same lingering dry humor. You gotta like wait for it sometimes. Now Borat's not even a good example. Anchorman. Have you seen Anchorman? It's like that. Okay. Alright, go chill wherever you want, son. I didn't just call my dog son as in I think he's my son, by the way. I don't like being called Hank's dad because I'm not his dad. I call him son because I call everyone son. Have to clear that up. Don't run after that freaking skunk again, son. Okay, let's look at this picture again. Okay, I'm gonna move you closer. Hopefully, you can still see. I can't see you because I got this reference photo sticking up there. But oh, wrong color. Ah, whatever. Okay, I got this other yellow here. Now, I know that that picture that I'm looking at, although you guys can't see it, is not, this is not the same colors as that, but that's okay. So really, I didn't need to say that at all. Okay, now there's like a, actually I'm gonna look at this other picture here now. It's got a little perp. What color purple is that? Even? How do you make purple? It's red and blue, right? I'm going to try to make my own purple here. A little red. No, that was blue. Now I need red. too dark. Much too dark, but that is a purple. But I need it to be more like that. So what could I add to it? What happens when I add yellow? What happens when I add orange? 
Well, that makes brown. Wait, how do you make purple? Is it, isn't it? Hold on. Do you guys know? Are ideas influenced by old Saturday Night Live? I can't wait to watch this as soon as Josh is off. Thanks, Brian, because Hank is so bright. Yeah, red and blue make purple nice. Okay. Let me start over then, because that is like mud. Okay, so blue. Got blue. I'm going to go with just a little bit of blue this time and a lot of red. More red. Okay. Well, now I just got like a dark red. I need it to look more brilliant. What happens if I add some pink? That is not the color I want. God damn it, I want this certain color. That color is like... Okay, let's get some more blue in there. That ain't it. How the whoever makes his colors genius. Are you kidding me? It's dried out. Okay, I need another one. Some violet here, but I'm pretty sure that's not the color I want. Okay, that is not the right color. If I look at these photos here, that purple is like, like almost blue. I wonder what would happen if I just went with some of this blue here. And I like that. Ooh, that's kind of the color. Okay, I'm gonna try that. That's totally not right, but it could be. Could be right. Now, if I look at this picture here, there's like... Okay, now if I add the right colors around it, that might work because like these clouds are obviously, I don't know if it's obvious. When people say obviously, when obviously is not the right word to use, it actually bugs me and I just get it. Like when people are like, well, obviously, obviously I didn't want that to happen. What do you mean obviously? You made it happen. It seems obvious to me that you did want it to happen. Okay. I need, a, I need a brighter, okay. Okay, now, take some of this bad boy color here. Schwing! 
And then if I, I wish I had a picture where there was blue in it so I would know if that would even make sense to do that. I might actually just get rid of that all together. But for now, that's what it is. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Does anyone here like Eminem? Random question. Okay. are barking again. Okay. There should be a painting show where the person who's painting actually doesn't know how to paint, so like he's just like he would be making the same noises as me. Hmm. I don't know about that. Looks like trash. Oh shit. That wasn't supposed to happen there, but it did. Okay. I got this. I'm gonna wipe this purple off my hand. I got this orange here, and this yellow. Mix that up a little bit to make a lighter orange. One thing with brushes that you don't, that you can't really achieve with finger painting is like delicate textures. much more difficult. Don't do it, Hank. Okay, once that dries, I'll do some correcting. Or I don't know if correcting is the right word. I'll do some more work on that. Try to make it look more like I want it to.
Okay, let's let that dry for a bit, and we will hang out for a second if anyone has any comments. Photo, our ideas influence, da da da. Purple clouds are awesome, woohoo purple. I don't know if the purple actually works, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Red and blue equals purple, blue and red. Needs more blue, try light blue, red. Add white. Add white, that seems so obvious. Perhaps you have too many colors on your hand already, this, this mud is falling. No, I, there was no other colors that were mixing in. Dark black will not work. <laughs> Correct. Blue, red and blue make purple. Okay, let's try it again. Just for shits and giggles, let's try it if we can make... Now, I know I had a freaking... Okay, red. Check. Red. Blue. Check. Mix it up. Yeah, that's purple. But it's not the... Oh, that doesn't look purple in that. It's purple. To me, it looks purple. Okay? White. Hue. Like, I need it to be more... You can't really see that color. That looks more like a weird flesh tone of some sort in the camera, but it's, that's not. Whatever, whatever. Take that off. All good. Like this purple is kind of close to it now that it's drying in certain parts, but it's kind of not it at the same time. <laughs> and I need it to be it. Okay, we'll let that dry for a bit. You added too much red the last time around. Did I? Try light white. Light white? What shade of purple are you trying to make? The shade of purple in the picture that you sent me, Lindsay. Or wait, was that you? No, wait, no, not, not the shade. Well, actually, that's kind of close to the shade that you sent me. No, the other guy, or the other, like, Harriet, the one that Harriet sent me, which you guys can't see. <laughs> Eek, I wish I was there to mix the colors for you. Yeah, I wish too, so come over. So I had to pop over to PhotoDeviant's channel. The humor is right up my alley. This is what YouTube is all about to me. People just having fun and making others laugh. That's the perfect purple. Buddy, you do you. Yeah, my great grandparents, he was Swedish. He was Danish and they actually met in America. I do like Eminem. Wow, I'm way behind on these comments. I forget what I was saying. Adding a little white can help bring out the color, especially if the paint is on the translucent side. These are pretty opaque, except for I guess the, the, the yellow. I should probably take this tape off at some point. That's going to be a harsh line. Oh. 
talking about M&M's, I thought I had some M&M's in my car and I was going to go get them, but I ate them all. He's okay, Josh and Dr. Just okay, dude. You need to leave the planet, do some soul searching, and come back with a better attitude. He's the freaking best. I'm a sublime and Beastie Boys girl. I can't even with, with M what? You better lose yourself in the music the moment you own it. You <laughs> nice. When I painted, I like to mix almost all my colors in every color. It's cold in here, so I made my nose run. I know there's a nap thing in this Arby's bag. Too bad. I had to just wipe my nose with my sleeve. Like a gentleman. Like his older music, but then I heard Godzilla, mind blown. Dude, I literally like every song that he's done. And there's only a few artists that that's true for me. Eminem, Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash, actually, some songs I don't like, but I can still listen to them. Okay? But Eminem, Johnny Cash, Nirvana, and there's probably a couple others where it's really close as well. But those three for sure. I can listen to all of them. Elvis is close. I can listen to almost everything he's recorded. But some stuff I'm just like, ah, why'd you record this, bro? He's like, because I'm Elvis. Thank you very much. Nitrous, are you, Dave? Josh, there's this Vietnamese in Australia who invites celebrities to his studio in Sydney. It's on the ABC network. He asks them questions about life. He paints their portraits and he gives them. Okay, cool. Anyone else remember the old Cheech and Chong Dave? Dave's not home routine? For some reason that came to mind. Never seen it. The painting at the end instead of paintbrushes he uses cake decorating knives because he was a pastry chef because Vietnam was under the French. Okay, I've seen people paint with like knives and stuff. Looks like poop, lol. I know I'm showing my age, but heck, I just turned 16 on Tuesday, so what the what am I? What the what am I, right? Hundu, Hundu is his name. It's an actor, comedian, and artist. Nice. How does it feel? I turned 16 in December. I'm not looking forward to it. Everyone turns 60 unless they die, so think of it that way. That's like, like, eh, eh, eh. I'm stuck in the 60s. I'm listening to 60s music as we speak. Matthew, imagine they had your music in the 60s. Or maybe they did. Uh, you had the fudge brownie m &Ms. I have not, but I had the caramel ones, which I think are delicious. Okay, it's not quite dry yet, but I think we're close. That for sure is not dry. Okay, I'm going to take this tape off. kind of sexy. I like that. That looks freaking delicious. Yeah. I'll probably do a few tweaks here and there, but I like it. I'm just going to toss this in the recycle. I'll be right back. What's up, Hank? What's up, bro? Where are you going? Where are you going? Why don't you chill here? Sit on this mat I made you. Okay. Oh, Johnny Cat has a voice. He does. Seal, really? I've been to Graceland. I have not. 
Eugene Pittney. I don't know who that is. I have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame videos from Lifetime. It's so awesome. That's cool that you like Ellis. I saw him in concert in April 1977, just before he died. I was 17 years, 12 years old. Hmm. Brian, refresh the page and see if that works. James, thank you. I was nine when Elvis died, but grew up listening to him all my life. I wasn't even born yet. But my brother Mike loves Elvis, and that's how I started listening to him. I think that Elvis is one of the best. Like, you know how people say, like, an artist. I have my router in here, and it says I have zero bars. So does that mean I'm using my data? right now I hope not anyways you know how people say like like an artist like goes through phases where they like put out shit music and stuff I don't think that's true for Elvis I mean he did a lot of uh, like he didn't write any of his songs so maybe that's why but he had such a freaking good voice like I just he was so good like, he could sing anything. He could sing a, the weather report. He's just, like, I don't understand how he could just sing so freaking good. Where he's just like, like, imagine, imagine someone told him, nah, dog, you can't sing. And he was like, oh, dang it, I thought I could. And then just never did. How many people in the world are there like that? Who have, like, this amazing talent? And you'll just never know. I don't know. He's incredible. Johnny Cash, another guy, almost didn't do it, and then he was just like, "No, I have a dream, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing. So I'm gonna go into this booth, sing into, the and then, and then he does that. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. The best intro. It's so perfect. You know, just hello, I'm Johnny Cash. It's like, yeah, you are." Dun, 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 dun. It's freaking perfect. Some people just have like the perfect amount of like suave stiffness. I don't know if that's a proper uh, description. Adjective? Adjective? I don't even know what an adjective is. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but suave stiffness. Johnny had it.
It's getting there. I'm painting with towel and knives. New to me, but I'm loving it. One day I'll finger paint. Finger painting is the best to me. Hello, Delphina. The fudge brownie onions are kind of amazing. Uh, hello, Sun Stampin. Sun Stampin! I know you. I kind of like being able to say I was around for all the 60s, even if the first nine months were in Euro. <laughs> Mom died April this year, and she loved Elvis, and I bet you she went to see him when she got to heaven. Thanks, son, Stampin'. Sorry for your loss, Santino. I am sure she was front row seats to the show. All right, Johnny had what he needed. Johnny was so freaking, so awesome. The colors in your paintings remind me of the color that I saw in the trees today. My friend and I looked a hundred mile road trip through, took a hundred mile road trip through some of the best fall colors in Minnesota. Nice. Minnesota. <laughs> Wobbling is my middle name. I'm jelly, Matt. They would have been amazing to see live. I got to see whole live in Montreal before they before she made it. Santino's leaving. See you all. He's leaving because he's Australian, mate. You gotta put something on the Barbie. Okay. Okay, yeah, I actually dig this, guys. I'm digging it now. I'm digging it. I'm digging up them holes, dig them. Okay. Okay, I gotta figure out where this building is gonna go. If you make sound effects, it makes it easier. that for now. I think this actually looks fine too. So I think what I'm going to do is put in that, that little building. So right here, we have like this weird shaped building, square. Sunsets in Connecticut have looked like those colors lately. It could be the smoke from Cali. Eisenhower was still president when I was born for 15 days. Dude, you're a hundred years old, Brian. Okay, we're gonna use some brown, just some straight up brown. We're gonna put that, let's see. You want? Something like that. 
Ternyata All that work for nothing Trying to get rid of that ridge under there. Okay. Okay, something like that, maybe. I don't know, I don't really know what these are. Don't do it, Hank. Don't do it. Don't do it, I'll be right back. Okay. Now I need to
just going to take some artistic liberties and make this a little bit bigger. Do it, Hank. Ben Franklin was my science teacher in high school. You're that old. I love your technique, Josh, because even though it's 2D, your light source is always spot on. Looks 3D. Oh, thanks. Oh, that actually looks... That looks like something. this to look like it don't really know how to do that so what we're gonna do is this a little bit now in this picture there's a lot of shadow here so I imagine the Sun I don't know if you can see that actually. There's a lot of shadow here, but I don't want there to be shadow on here, so. I don't know what to do. There could be shadow behind this, that's fine. But I do want it to look like this is a separate little thingamajig. So if there's no sun there, there should be shadow. Maybe going that way. Although that's a very shallow shadow, so that obviously means that the sun is more up above in that picture, but obviously something in the foreground here where we can't see, there's something that is casting these shadows here, which I have no idea what they are. Maybe they're cactus. Yeah, it looks like they might be cactus. I don't freaking know. 
Maybe whoever took the picture parked their freaking weird shaped truck there. Because I could put extra something there. So it looks like this hill goes and it comes down into here. And that over there is some other some other something or other. So I'll go like this. to be brighter. I wish I remembered what you called these things. I'm just gonna move you guys over to this side here. How much battery do I have left? Oh, I do a lot, okay. Not a lot, but I just made a boatload of new stuff. Nice. I say weird because you no doubt work with a lot of it. What? What does Matt do? Made it more muddy, buddy. better than what his face what's his face Bob what okay We can do something with that in here, maybe. Okay. Bunch of down now.
Okay, wait for this to dry and then I'll just start doing the layers. And just for shits and giggles, just so that doesn't look like one of those weird desert mountains, I'll put the windows that this thing seems to have in there. Or I don't know if those are windows, whatever those are. All right, what's everyone doing here? Let me just... Hmm. Live chat. Josh, that is pretty darn good. <laughs> I'm loving this painting. What? Who's Vicky? Who says whatever? What did Vicky say? It's very nice. Keep going. Don't listen to all the negativity. All the negativity? Was there any? I didn't even... Was there? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, but... Negativity, I hardly ever listen to. Unless it's constructive. Great job, son. <laughs> Don't call me son, Shirley. Yo. Matt, I would have made that mug if you would have been if you would have been there. But you're like, no, I'm busy. doing this for a little bit perhaps tomorrow or another time I don't know when exactly we'll we'll continue this painting uh, but I have to finish this this other painting tonight so I can get it scanned tomorrow so I won't be able to stay on for too much longer and the other painting I definitely need a reference picture and I have it on my phone so I won't be able to do do this online look at my hands So I won't be able to stay online because, you know.
The pop public. Diana, are you? The, you're not the person. Are you the person who's getting this? Wait, what is that? What is the pupil? How the hell do you say that? Uh, it kills me the time watching Josh doing creative stuff online. Oh, it kills the time. He has to do this overnight for somebody. I don't have to do this overnight. Wait, Linda? Linda. Who's the person who won the freaking, uh, Just Joshing with Dakota contest? The one I have to do overnight is this one over here, which I need a, I've already done most of it, but this one, right? This one. Can you see that? Kind of. That's the one I finish it tonight. This one, I don't have to finish tonight, but I should finish it soon because the person has been waiting forever for it. I mean, I did tell them it would take a while. But, I don't want them to wait too long if it's, if I'm able to help it. Because that's rude. I don't want people to think that I don't care about their support and stuff, because that would, that's, that's the opposite of how I feel. Although some people would beg to differ. Lovely couple. Linda, I think you had another project. Someone else. Sorry, this was meant for... What? You mean we weren't making dinner for Ashley tonight? No, I mean, I'm going to make it, but... But I'm not going to make it with you guys. Lauren won, I think. Okay, who's Lauren? Lauren? Is Lauren here? Was that Lauren? Let me scroll back up here. No, I can't find it. Okay, I don't remember who asked about the thing, but... Looks like a sandcastle. It does! It kind of is a sandcastle, I think. Willy Nelson. Oh my god, I love the Willy. Nice. Lauren isn't here. Dang it. Damn it, Lauren! Yeah, I don't... I don't actually know if she watches this channel or if she just watches Dakota and just joshing with Dakota. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. Whoever is the one who won the thing for just joshing with Dakota. That logo is sick.
Okay, what's going on, guys? You got a haircut? Who? Laura is here. Who got a haircut? We can't watch one without the other brother. Well, whoever is not following my brother, Dakota, go subscribe to him as well. Because I have, like, however many subscribers, although I guess most of them don't actually watch the content. But if you are watching this by chance, go over there and watch him too. Laura Hill. Love the purple in the sky. Windy. It's cold, by the way. Remember that tape line? I can see it right here. Very annoying. I should have taken it off earlier, but I didn't. But that sky is looking grand. I like it. I like how I didn't know what I was doing. And then I got some of you guys to uh, send me a pic. A couple pics. Use that for some reference. And then we have an afternoon delight. <laughs> Afternoon delight. Dakota's channel. Trains have started flying out now, so that means that we're close to winter. First, I thought this was a volcano. A volcano in the desert. Well, you were wrong. I immediately thought of who friend Roger Rock when I read the shave and a haircut comment. Is that Arizona? I don't think so. I think th I think it's Mexico. And this is some sort of weird building. I forget what the heck she called it. If, and whoever was the person who said the, the was that T word? I missed your comment if you explained what that was. So please explain it again if you would. I usually am wrong. <laughs> uh, New Mexico. Matthew does Josh have a PayPal account like Dakota for friends and family? Uh, I don't think I do. Do I? I have a PayPal. Don't send any money though. Just buy something. I know it's getting cold up there when Canada geese increase down here for the sunbathing ponds. We're getting there, boys and girls. See, the thing is, is getting like the texture, but obviously the texture is supposed to be really small. So trying to, to mimic that, well, with making massive ass texture, but making it look correct is uh, sometimes a little tricky. You know what I mean?
could do Patreon. Oh yeah, you could join my Patreon. There's like all sorts of extra stuff there. I'm a little behind this month in, in making the giveaway for tier two and three, but we will get to that. But tier one gets your name on the, on the door, plus extra pictures and lives exclusive to that. Um, every once in a while, I accidentally don't restrict bonus videos to only tier two and three so you'll get those uh but tier two and three they have like extra videos uh i don't know what else there is there's a bunch of stuff free prints i guess they're not free i guess technically you're paying for them uh for tier three there's a bunch of stuff um i try to make it worth actually being a part of it you know but I guess that's all up to you. Good morning from Dublin. Tia Green. Painting looks stunning. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I should probably go here pretty soon. Okay, we're, we got a little time. We got a little time. I so love when he's focused like this. Makes me want to make white rice. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Uh, <laughs> that's a hilarious comment. I so love it when he's focused like this. Makes me want to make white rice. What the heck does that mean? <laughs> Yo, look at all these people just focusing. Anyone want to make some rice? Yeah, but what kind? Of obviously white. What's wrong with you? I'm not gonna make no brown rice. Look how focused he is. We got no time for that. That weird wild rice. We're making white rice for sure. Ain't nobody gonna tell us different. <laughs> Heck, I've never heard anyone ever say something like that before, I don't think. If you can appreciate the focus, have some white rice on the side. Get this from a distance. Okay. I'm actually somewhat happy with this. We actually might almost be done here, so yeah, this might be fine. I just have to, have to add in all the tumbleweeds. And I don't know if they have color to them or not, but they have some texture. So we'll go like this. We're gonna make them purple. And then they're going to be we're going to so that's just why we're going to start them some brown some just tan color to lighten up the brown a little bit and some perp makes it whoops that color there i was in the mood for making a rice too early but i sure am now good rice equals satisfying I'm learning to use my CGI effects apps to, to do like I did with art meters. It's not as easy. I'm 
dude dad? Is that the guy from New Zealand? Oh, wait, is he the guy who shiplapped his whole house? What does making white, right, white rice have to do with being focused? I'm confused. So am I. I just, but it doesn't make any sense. Linda, Linda Shear. Yo, I just love it when you focus. Go make some rice. Go to like a Chinese restaurant or an Indian restaurant, and they're like, man, we can't make any rice. Nobody is focused. Focus, please. I want to be making this rice so we can make some money. Nobody gives a damn. Nobody's focusing. <laughs> What an absurd thing. But it's funny. Wait, that one might be too big. Yeah, that's too big. That's too big. Cut that out of there. What is this even? Okay. Now, take some more tan. See if this works. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, now, I wish I could see what color this is, but I, I just kind of can't. I'm going to assume there's some green in there, even though it's the desert. So, let's add a little green. I want to get it like a... It would be like a, a water, not a winter. And cactuses have like... A variance of screen, so I'm just gonna go. Little bits of green in there. I have no idea if that's correct or not.
makes me want to make white rice. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck does that mean? So it makes you hungry when you're focused. Oh. Prickle pear bushes. Prickly pear. Those are cool. I never had one, but I've seen the Jungle Book. Okay. There's so many over there. Okay, now I imagine there's got to be some shadows in these. purple for some shadow on this this side yeah I'll probably add some black as well these ones are a little harder to do Okay, some black. Oh, I don't know if I have any black left out here. What's this? What's that? I have some black. Good night, Wendy. Okay. I feel like some purple.
this part. I'm not exactly sure if it'll turn out exactly how I want it to, but I think it should be good. Like creating all these shadows is kind of like, I don't know, let's do this. I'm just, at, I'm using purple, so it's not so harsh. Because if I use like a black, it might not work so well. I don't know. Okay, this picture has a lot of shadow in the foreground, but we're not using that for that. We're just using that just to get an idea of what the heck this building is all about. Okay. Then we're just gonna let this mellow for a bit, I think. And, uh, and I'll probably add to it here and there. So if you wanna see the finished product, make sure that you follow my Instagram where I will be uh, posting the finished product. Uh, 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 how come I can't say the next sentence? <laughs> Along with Facebook, I'll put it on my Facebook page. I might even put it on my personal Facebook, I don't know. I'll probably do a few tweaks here and there, but this is pretty much it. So let me turn this around. There we go. Uh, 
have a little bit of stuff to do over here in this area. Probably going to do some uh, little work out in here. I don't know, maybe up there somewhere. And I might do a little bit more on the sky, particularly in this area. But I'm not exactly sure. Something like that. So I'm not going to continue this on like a Facebook or on a YouTube live or anything like that. Uh, if anything, I might do it on an Instagram live or something like that if I decide to film some more. But the work around to do all these little things is I'm going to be just making everyone want to make white rice because I'm just going to be focused. I'm not going to be doing much chatting or anything like that because all this stuff is kind of finer detail. So. That is basically it. Let me turn this back around. So, if you guys like this painting, let me know. I don't know if I would necessarily make prints of this, but if enough people like it, not that they necessarily want to reserve one or anything, just let me know in the whatever. And then maybe I'll make prints of it and it, you know people might like it I don't know this is spoken for um, oh also the hummingbird painting the lady had to who wanted it um, I forget what her name is doesn't matter what her name is she backed out because she something happened her house exploded or something something bad happened her house didn't literally explode something bad happened so uh, that painting is available she said if anyone else wants it and not to hold it for her because she doesn't know when she'd be able to buy it. So the hummingbird is available. That will be scanned and have prints available as well. So yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to now work on this other painting here. And I need my phone for this one because I have the, uh, I have the, uh, reference photo on my phone but this is the other painting I'm working on it's almost done so excuse me pardon me have a good night what time is it 11 27 yeah I got half an hour to finish this because I'm gonna make some dinner for Ashley but it's coming along all right thank you everyone for sending me those uh reference photos they actually helped a lot thank you Lindsay and Matthew for moderating and thank you everyone else for watching and enjoying. There will be a vlog soon. I've said that for the last how many lives. But there will be one. I promise. I'm hoping to finish filming it tomorrow. There's just a few little... Because of the way that I film them now. And tell the story. It's just the story ends tomorrow with this getting scanned. Because I decided to do this in the vlog for some stupid reason. If I would have waited till the next vlog and that wouldn't matter so much. But anyways, thank you so much. Just joshing with Dakota. Oh, just joshing with Dakota should come back soon. Uh, Dakota's in quarantine, so we got to wait for all that jazz to be done. And yeah, we should be good. All right, guys. See you later. Thank you. Appreciate you guys.